one, I'm currently in the Steam version of VR Chat using my Quest 3S and the HTC Vive Ultimate Trackers. A uh, crazy but a uh, definitely doable combo, and I'll show you how you two can get this set up. Yeah. Yeah. The Ultimate Trackers now work with headsets that can access Steam VR, like Quest and others, but I'll also show you how you can get the trackers set up with supported HTC headsets like the Vive XR Elite, the Vive Focus 3, and Vive Focus Vision as well, in case you have those. Timestamps are available in the description, so you can jump to the section relevant to your headset and you'll find relevant links posted there too. Before we dive in, I do want to mention that this video is sponsored by HTC Vive. They kindly sent me the Ultimate Trackers and the HTC Vive Focus Vision to try out, so thank you very much. First, briefly, the Vive Ultimate Trackers themselves. Uh, at the time of this video, these trackers are available in two options. A three pack with a dongle, which is priced at $599 on the official site or Amazon, or you can buy a single tracker with a dongle for $199 on Amazon. The HTC Vive Ultimate Trackers are body tracking devices designed to enhance your VR experiences with full body tracking. One of the biggest advantages of these trackers is that you no longer need to drill holes in your walls for base stations or lighthouses. However, it's important to note that unless you're using the trackers with certain Vive headsets, you'll still need a PC and Steam VR to get the ultimate trackers working. These trackers are especially popular in social VR platforms like VR Chat, where full body tracking adds a new level of expression to your avatar. Uh, if you're interested in exploring other games and applications that support full body tracking, I've created a list that you can find linked in the description below. Now you might be wondering how many trackers you actually need. Typically, I use three trackers for full body, one on each foot and one on the waist. This setup's usually enough to get started and provides a good balance of tracking accuracy and simplicity you can add up to five trackers for even more precise tracking but for most people these three are sufficient just remember your head and your hands are already tracked by your headset and your controllers so these additional three trackers kind of complete the full body picture I recommend the Rebuff Reality Straps personally, but you can always go with whatever you like as long as it mentions support for the Vive Ultimate Trackers. Now let's dive into setting up the Ultimate Trackers for Quest and other PC VR headsets that can access Steam VR. If you're using a Quest, you'll need to connect to Steam VR using your preferred methods such as virtual desktop, Steam Link, Air Link, or a link cable. I won't be going into that setup in this video, but I have a semi-older tutorial that covers this process. First, download and install the Vive Hub app onto your PC. Launch Steam VR. If you're a Quest user, make sure you're connected to Steam VR via your chosen method. In the Steam VR settings, go to Startup Shutdown, Manage Add-ons, disable HTC Business Streaming, and thus you'll be streaming using a Vive headset, and make sure that Vive Ultimate Tracker is enabled. Sometimes if Steam crashes or quits unexpectedly, it can disable all of these, which can be incredibly annoying. Restart Steam VR if needed, then attach the dongle to your PC using the extension cradle. In the Vive Streaming Hub, go to Settings Ultimate Tracker tab. Click Pair New, click the Tracker Power button once to turn it on, then hold down the button until it flashes and wait for it to turn solid green. Do this for the rest of your trackers as well. Update firmware if prompted, connecting each tracker to your PC individually. You can also check and see if the dongle needs updating by going to About Vive Ultimate Tracker section. The Update button will be clickable if you need to update. Your trackers or tracker should now appear in the Steam VR window. If not, try restarting Steam VR. Next, you'll need to perform a tracking map setup in the Vive Hub. Go to Ultimate Tracker tab, click on Start Setup next to Tracker Setup, follow the on screen instructions carefully. The process involves several steps that you'll be guided through on screen, but I also recommend having your speakers on or your headset volume loud enough to hear the helpful vocal instructions as well. You'll start by kneeling on the floor. Take one tracker and move it around to fill up the ring shown on the screen. Once that's done, you'll turn to face the wall to your right while remaining kneeling and repeat the movement. You'll need to keep doing this turn and scan movement until all of your walls have been scanned. This helps the system understand your space from a lower perspective. Then you'll be prompted to stand up and will repeat a similar process. Move the tracker around to fill the ring again, just like before. Then turn to face the wall, fill the ring once more. Finally, turn to your right, complete the ring filling motion one last time. This gives the system a view of your space from a standing height. After completing both the kneeling and standing phases, double check that the map saved successfully. 
This tracking map setup is really important for accurate tracking in your play area. It helps the trackers understand the space they're operating in, which leads to more precise and stable tracking when you're using them. Next, you'll need to calibrate your trackers in VR. This step is crucial for aligning your trackers with your VR space. First, put on your headset. You should see a Vive calibration pop-up appear automatically. If you don't see it, then you'll find it in your Steam VR dashboard under Vive Calibration. The calibration tool will ask you to choose which controller you want to use for the process and pick whichever one feels most comfortable for you. Next, grab one of your ultimate trackers. Make sure the sensors are facing outward towards your dongle and that you're not covering them with your hand or the controller. Press the power button on the tracker once. Now we're going to do a slow figure eight pattern with the tracker. The calibration tool will show you a progress bar. Keep making that figure eight motion until the bar reaches 100%. Once you've hit 100%, you should see a virtual representation of your tracker in VR. If it looks like it's in the right spot relative to where you're actually holding it, great. If not, you might need to repeat the calibration. Now pick up your other trackers one by one. As you lift each one, it should wake up and appear in your VR space. Take a moment to check that each tracker is being represented accurately in VR. If you find that your tracking seems off during use, coming back and redoing this calibration can often solve that problem. For those of you planning to use the trackers outside of VR chat, you may need to assign your trackers to specific body parts in Steam VR. To do this, go to Settings, Controllers, Manage Trackers, and label each tracker to the appropriate body part. It's also a good idea to physically label each tracker or strap so that you can easily remember which is which. For Quest users, here are some additional tips. I recommend taping up the headset proximity sensor during use to help prevent the headset from going to sleep when it's set down, as that can mess up calibration. If you experience any tracking issues, try adjusting your play area lighting. The Quest cameras may interact differently with the trackers in various lighting conditions. Now let's move on to the setup process for HTC Vive headsets, specifically the Focus 3, Vive XR Elite, and Focus Vision. This process is a bit quicker and easier due to the native compatibility of these headsets with the Ultimate trackers. First, connect the dongle to the USB-C port in your headset. In headset, a prompt should automatically appear when the dongle is plugged in, or you can go to Settings, Inputs, Motion Trackers. Select Pair New, press the power button on your first tracker once until it turns on, then press and hold it until it flashes blue. When connected, the light will turn green. Do the same for the rest of your trackers. You will then enter a room scanning mode in which you follow a little mole person around. Once completed, move your trackers around to ensure number markers appear above them. Make sure that you also update firmware and settings if prompted. And depending on your use case, you can change the trackers to be full body or object based. It's here that you'll also want to label where the tracking is going on you represented by the mannequin. Viveport has VR chat as well, which is completely free. So you can utilize that and any other apps completely standalone with your ultimate trackers. Now let's go over some troubleshooting tips to help you get the best performance from your trackers. First and foremost, make sure the dongle has a clear line of sight to your trackers. If you're having calibration issues, try running through the calibration tool again, or even redoing the room scan if necessary. For those of you using headsets that might change coordinates like the Quest, keep an eye out for prompts to redo the Vive calibration and this will help keep things aligned nicely. Nicely. To ensure stable tracking, there's a few things you can do. Regularly clean your tracker lenses with a microfiber cloth to keep them clear. Try to maintain at least one and a half meters of space between your trackers and any obstacles. Good lighting in your play space is also important, but just be careful of reflective objects or completely blank walls and floors, as these can confuse the trackers. If you do notice your tracking getting jittery, it might be worth temporarily turning off other wireless devices in the area to reduce reduce interference. And lastly, if you're seeing mismatched positions, here's a quick fix you can try. Uh, cover the tracker cameras for about five seconds, then uncover them. This can often help the trackers reorient themselves. Remember, getting everything set up perfectly might take a little bit of trial and error, so don't get discouraged if it's not perfect right away. With a little patience and these troubleshooting tips, you'll be up and running in no time. That's it! You should now have your HTC Vive Ultimate Tracker set up and working with your VR headset. Remember, practice and fine-tuning may be necessary to get the best performance. Uh, if you encounter any issues not covered here, check the official HTC support resources or their Discord. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you on the next one! Woo! Full body tracking! Yeah!